Hey everybody, my name's Ryan, and today on our 2021 Subaru Outback Wagon, we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So one of the big questions we get asked all the time in regards to hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still going to be able to open up your hatch, get into the back of your Subaru when you have the rack on. And in this case, the answer is yes. This does fold down out of the way. Right here, we're going to have another lever. Pull up on it. The rack will swing down and give us all that space that we need to open up the back and get whatever we might need in and out of the back of our Subaru. So right off the bat, the rack that we have here today can hold up to a total of two bikes. However, if you need to carry an additional one, there's a three bike version available as well. But with that being said, my first impressions of the rack on the back of the Subaru is I think it looks really good. It really does do a great job of kind of blending in, has a really nice modern appearance to it. And I think it's gonna hold the bikes up kind of in that perfect position. They're high enough up to where you can kind of keep an eye on them through your rear view mirror as you're going down the road, but they're not gonna be up so high that they're really gonna block or obstruct your view completely. So that's always nice. Even has a nifty integrated lock right into the rack. That's one cool thing about this setup. Everything in the rack is integrated. So you can loop that over, secure bikes down, and you're not gonna have to worry about someone running off at them when you're getting a bite to eat or a cup of coffee before or after the trails. Now, with that being said, the way the rack works is really simple. It's gonna hold your bike down in three spots. So you're gonna have two straps here along the top tube and a strap right here which is gonna work as a anti-sway strap. So that's gonna help prevent that side to side movement. So your bikes won't kind of bang into each other as they're going down the road. But let's go ahead and take our bike off so we can have a better look at the rack itself. You're just gonna push down on these tabs. That's gonna allow you to pull up on the straps. And kind of just flip them over out of the way. The same deal with this one right here. And now we're able to pull our bike off. I do like how the arms are relatively narrow and that's really gonna make it easy to grab your bike and pull it off. Some of the other ones have real wide arms and it's kind of a challenge. Sometimes you almost have to wiggle it off and that's really not the case at all with this one. So the cradles here where your bike's frame is going to sit are somewhat adjustable. You kind of rotate them up and down a little bit to help kind of accommodate for the type of frame that you have. And they're also gonna have a real soft rubber material on the cradle itself, and that same material on the strap. So if you got a real nice paint job on your bike, you're not gonna have to worry about it getting tore up from sitting on the rack. I do suggest when you're not using it though, just to take those straps and kind of put them back in place. That way we don't have to worry about anything happening to them. Now, one thing you do wanna keep in mind whenever you have the rack on the back of your Subaru, it is going to extend the overall length of it. And to find out exactly how much, I'll just measure from our Subaru emblem there to the very edge of the rack. Looks like it's gonna be right at about 33 inches. So, although it's not taking up a ton of space, something you wanna think about when you pull into your garage or tight parking spot, something like that. Now the arms do fold down to free up some space. Just push up on the lever, you can swing these arms down, and that's gonna make it pretty compact. So again, I'll just take that same measurement, and with it like this, looks like the furthest spot is going to be about 20 inches. So it does save some space, and in this position, really don't see it giving you any issues when you do go to pull into your garage or even that tight spot. And down here, the rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Outback, but it also has the ability to work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube. So gives us a little bit of versatility there. This is gonna have an integrated hitch pin, which is nice. One less thing to worry about picking up separately, but more importantly, at least in my opinion, one less thing to have to keep track of. Everything you need to use a rack stays with it. So really convenient. This is going to have a knob here on this side when you crank that down, it's going to eliminate any slop or play here in the connection point. 
And that's really gonna help keep the ride inside of your Subaru nice and quiet. So give you an example on how it works. Say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack has got to move with our Outback and not on its own. So honestly, especially with the rack in this position, I think it looks awesome on the back of the Subaru. And if it were me, I'd probably just leave it on. But let's say if you needed to take it out to maybe use another accessory or pull a trailer or something like that, it's not gonna be a big hassle. Once you loosen up your knob, you can pull up on your hitch pin and take it right out. And this is super lightweight. It's actually made from aluminum, so it's really manageable. I mean, I can pick this thing up with one hand very easily. So if you are gonna set this off to the side, you can put it on the top shelf in the garage or wherever you want because it is so lightweight. So if you're anything like me, you always wanna see the product that you're interested in actually working or in action. So let's go ahead, load this up with some bikes, take it out on the test course and see how it does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2021 Subaru Outback Wagon.